Tonight, nine teens recovering after a horrible crash in Lower Burrow, all nine in one vehicle, and it rolled over. Many of those teens are in bad shape at the hospital tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paul Martino. Police trying to figure out what happened since no other vehicles appear to have been involved. Our Lynn Hayes Freeland has been covering this story all evening. She's live tonight at Children's Hospital where some of those victims are right now. Lynn. Paul, good evening. This accident happened just before 2 o'clock this afternoon on a road called Dutchman Run Road in Lower Borough. Now, it's a windy road. In fact, neighbors tell me there are some blind spots along the way. Now, this all happened, as I said, just before 2 o'clock, and that's when four of the victims were brought here to Children's Hospital. Police say there were nine teens, ranging in age from 14 to 17, when this SUV hit the hillside and flipped. The Explorer drove off the roadway where the driver lost control, struck an embankment, and the vehicle rolled over. Police say five of the teens were ejected from the SUV. State police are investigating how exactly the accident happened, but police say not all of the passengers were wearing seatbelts. We're not certain who all was wearing seatbelts. Would there have been nine? Uh, certainly not. Police say six of the nine teens were transported by helicopter to area hospitals. Their injuries range from mild to critical. Most are students at Borough High School. The district superintendent released a statement late today. On behalf of the Borough School District, our prayers go out to the families and students involved. Some parents arrived on scene shortly after the accident happened. A bystander on the scene also knew some of the uh, children involved and was contacting parents for them. Now, right now, the school district has not said whether or not they're going to have counselors on hand when classes resume on Monday, but it's probably a good idea because many of the students and teachers in this district are still reeling from the loss of a beloved middle school teacher just before the school year started. Reporting live at Children's Hospital in Lawrenceville, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.